A Deer Park teenager describes the terrifying encounter she had with a man accused of fondling her right outside her house. Nine on your side, Jason Law spoke to the young woman about the one clue that helped police make a quick arrest. Jason? Carol, the girl said the man tried to force her into this alleyway, which is just a few feet away from where she lives in Deer Park. Investigators say they had to look no further than the victim's cell phone to find their suspect. It's hard to even talk about. It just, it just scared me so bad. This 17-year-old still has her attacker's number saved in her phone. It's only there because police say the attacker insisted she have his number. Once I tried to walk away, he grabbed me by my arm and took my phone and put his number in it. And I put my phone in my pocket and I tried to walk away again. He grabbed me. 25-year-old Josh Shanner is charged with sexual imposition. Deer Park police say early Sunday morning, Shanner grabbed the teen outside the H bar, showed her naked pictures on his phone, then forced himself on her. He was too strong for me. I couldn't get away from him. And then he grabbed me and just pulled me closer, and he just basically took advantage of me and made me do things to him that I didn't want to do. The girl says an officer drove by at the right time and scared her attacker away. I was just frozen with fear the entire time. I didn't expect something like that to happen in, in such a small place like this. Court records show Shanner was arrested for the same crime in 2011 and was found not guilty. Lieutenant Dan McCormick says Shanner is not a stranger to the Deer Park Police Department. How were you able to catch him so quick? Well, number one, he put his information in her phone. And number two, we, know, we all know Josh. I've known Josh since he was in the fifth grade. He was actually one of my D.A.R.E. students when I was a D.A.R.E. officer. Um, he's been around this town for, for years. It replays in my head a lot, just being grabbed and taken advantage of. It, it just constantly replays in my head, and I'm just, I'm scared to meet new people now because I don't know how they're going to act towards me. Shanner's bond is set at $10,000. He remains locked up tonight in the Hamilton County Detention Center. We're live in Deer Park. Jason Law, 9 on your side. All right, Jason, thank you.